Welcome to another overlanding in Norway trip. We are currently on top of Tronfjellet and if you want to see how we got here, you have to see from the start. <laughs> now let's get down, it's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> Ja, gå till vänster. Nej, jag ska till vänster. Här kan vi inte göra. Ja, ok, då måste jag kanske. Han kortar sig när han är lite toppens dilemma. Self levels. Huh? <laughs> so good. So this is camp for tonight. So if you watch my uh, Overland in Norway series where we drive from uh, Trondheim to Erdalen, we are actually on the other side from that 2018 series. We are actually on the other side. So that's why I knew of this camp. So this is camp for tonight. We are setting up. We are waiting for Eric, who is going to be here in couple of hours so we're gonna have everything ready for him to come and just join us and have fun. 
Welcome to another Overlanding in Norway episode. This time we are heading for Tronfjelle and Femøy. Tronfjelle is coming up later in this episode and it's going to be the most amazing views you have ever seen on this channel. It's one of the best roads I have ever driven and I definitely recommend staying for that. For now we are setting up camp while we wait for Erik to arrive. Now we can hammer. Land Rover Klubben. <laughs> How do you like camp, uh, Barrett? Lovely. Yeah. Right by the river. Looks like Africa over there. <laughs> yeah. It could be Kilimanjaro. <laughs> at its finest. Look at it. Ah, beautiful country. Yeah. Can't wait to get the fire on the go. It's going to be a gold <laughs> night. <laughs> <laughs> Nei faen, det går til å komme play. Play, se. Det er ikke lov. Hæ? Det er ikke lov med kameraen. Du er så sexy mann, vet du da. Det er ikke lov. 10 miles, jo du. Kom hit, Cleanus. Ordning is out. Table, almost. Yeah, he had taken the awning off. Huh? Teddy didn't have his awning on. Oh. So he was like, Sorry, man. Should I put the awning back on? Yeah. That's a good <laughs> accent. <laughs> there we are. Job done. Oh, the smell of diesel heater. Yeah, oh. just going to start up. Yeah, I thought one try. Fuel burner heater. Hans Erik. Uh, how many are you? <laughs> how many are you? Two people. Ooh. Do I do a pint one, yeah? Uncle Drum. Jesus, God, that's good. I feel that one. I've been there for three days. <laughs> but it's only the good thing about camping in the cold is the bear is only going to get colder and colder. Yeah. <laughs> good thing. getting dark. Yeah. So I sent it back to him or something. I know you Okay, so this is my new setup. I'm going to go through it in all detail uh, later, but now I'm just going to show you where I'm going to sleep. This is just firewood. So this is where I'm going to sleep. So this is my new bed. And this plate here is uh, removable, so if I need to use the rear sheet, I can just remove this. But yeah, X-bed, uh, mountain blanket underneath, uh, over the X-bed and underneath the sleeping bag and then the sleeping bag. So uh, yeah, I think it's going to be comfy. Just wait two seconds. Okay, so I'm back and the bed is ready. It's a bit difficult to get in there. Uh, it's also a bit difficult to get in there. It's possible, but it's, I want this up during the night. So uh, the first version is here. So that's the general, no, the genius design of the Discovery. You can drop the, the, the chair and then pivot it forwards. And now I can walk into my bed. Cozy. Perfect. Yeah. 
So camp is up, fire is going and this is what it's all about. Getting around the fireplace with your friends, talking trash and sharing stories, talking about gear, cars and just enjoying each other's company. Yeah, yeah, it goes for it, yeah. I'll, I'll move around, probably. It wasn't long before we heard a V8 and also saw some headlights. But for some reason the headlights turned around and were heading the other way. <laughs> they went the wrong way. <laughs> Where is he going? Looks like an old stock again. Yeah, I'm on the Alvi Melman. No, too late. Okay? No. I said Alvi is there. Oh yeah, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm gonna take a dig in. Ska du skru det så? Ja, Ja. Lika bra som i 2018. Nej, det är bättre än i 18 tror jag. Hello. Hello. Eric is moving up in the world. <laughs> Something's happened. <laughs> this is luxury with the uh, lights. You would almost say romantic. <laughs> How was the drive? Okay. Okay. Yeah. We had a small one small issue. Great. For the throttle cable. Okay. <laughs> Like open or like uh, we went from uh, you know from Ringebu yeah. and up the st really steep road. Yeah. I suddenly felt the throttle pedal slip. Yeah. And it went in like three four centimeters before it catched again. Okay. <laughs> so I assumed I had half throttle. So we were like limping all the way up in third gear. <laughs> Could barely hold I think 40 kilometers an hour. <laughs> But we stopped on the top and uh, the cable just uh, moved. Yeah. Because I've just been fiddling a bit with it. Okay, yeah. And also the reason for stalling now because we just adjusted it. Quickly, ago. quickly. Ah, okay, yeah. Uh, I understand. Yeah. That was the only thing. And it's a bit noisy. <laughs> That's why I'm yelling. My ears are. <laughs> yeah, but just get the bed ready and we can start making. Uh, Good. Yeah. Uh, you have eaten? No. Nice. Waiting for you. Waiting for you. Oh. Hey, that's bad. Hey. Sorry. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is uh, Eric's brother. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Welcome. Hey, well, thank yeah. you. <laughs> First time on a trip with us, so uh, yeah. yeah. It's gonna be nice. Mm, burgers. I think that oil is a bit warm. So <laughs> <laughs> Quickly, throw some water on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's half going in. It's a very simple meal. Burgers, bacon, and some sausages. It's just gonna make it Super simple today. Oh yeah. Uh, Why is it called English mustard when it's uh, really Japanese? Made in English. It's not wasabi. <laughs> it tastes, it tastes <laughs> like wasabi. Aye. 
For a good time. Yeah. Yummy for my Flame time, grilled man. burger. Uh. Ooh. Mm. Flambe. <laughs> what I chapel. Was it good? Like a pro. <laughs> Yes, just woken up and uh, the guys are already eating breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Breakfast already? Lunch. Lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, how did you sleep last night? Uh, windy. Windy, yeah. Yeah, I noticed as well. Uh, every time I heard the wind like blow up a bit, I had to look outside and check the the awnings. Yes, uh, I, I was back in in Salzerman. Salzerman, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You actually lost one. Uh, it's, it's the same. <laughs> broke. It's the same. Yeah, okay, the same one. It's broke. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, Eric. As well. Good morning. Very. What's the time? What do you say? What's the time? <laughs> I think it's around 10. Yeah. <laughs> we packed up, went and looked at the new place we're going and came back. <laughs> no, don't worry. I'm just going to make an easy breakfast. I don't... Uh... Uh, we have all the time in the world. Yeah. Uh, at least we do. <laughs> <laughs> so, eggs. Yeah. Bacon. Bacon, eggs and beans. Mm. And uh, juice. Cake. Coffee. Egg roll and now some wheat mix. So everyone is up except uh, Ödjan. I guess he will be up yeah. soon. And we are at a beautiful campsite in uh, Rondona. It's uh, been here once before to check it out and we've never camped there before. This is the first time and it's definitely a place where you should go uh, and set up camp if you if you can. Good morning! Hello! <laughs> oh. Time to get up, you uh, know? Yes. It is. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Mm, I know. Time to make morning coffee and uh, checking out how the new system works. So, as always, jet foil. <laughs> Oh, always forget. Like so, start it up. Right.
pocket press. And of course, pocket Shelf pack. Yeah, actually my favorite of the, which is uh, already, uh, what's it called? Varna. Mm. Grind it. Grind it, yeah. So in about one minute if the uh, water is boiled and then we are ready to make the coffee. In the meantime, let's put uh, some bread. So it's boiling. T-shirts for you guys. Uh, so I got them made, uh, and it's uh, uh, Landover Drive overlanding in Norway, October 2021. So it's the unique shirt for this trip. So uh, I thought it was a good idea, and uh, so I think it's going to be happening every trip. There's going to be a unique shirt, so it's going to be something special. So uh, don't. Uh, Harass the designer because that's me. But I think they came out pretty, pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh, a large one, and that's uh, Eric, I think. Yeah. You ready to Cheers. Go. Thanks. Thank you. There you go. Jorn, there you go. Thank you. Please and talk. Let's go. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, sadly for Espen, who uh, had a late arrival, uh, we didn't order one. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, but this one I'm paying for. Because I owe you a... Hung? What's it called? Flyer? Flyer. Yeah, I'm not going to So if you saw the EGR oh. valve uh, removal, we cut your... Uh, Flyer in half to uh, get the uh, yeah. Don't know anything about that. <laughs> we'll get a T-shirt and a new flyer eventually. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Cool <laughs> sex appeal. Axel, mm -hmm. do you need to double like Axel? <laughs> the next time. <laughs> Just need to keep it inside. <laughs> <laughs> Got the older one. Ah, uh, nice. Just it. <laughs> That's good. Okay, time to sh change shirts. Do you want me to put on some music? Music. Bam, 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 bam. Boom, 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 boom. Off with the old one. In with the new. You see this fits. So these I think I need to crank down the ISO. This should be pre premium. <laughs> So this will be, yeah, it's longer and it's perfect. Nice. It's 
it's not quick to start, so uh, maybe you need to batter it. Yes, so we are leaving this beautiful camp. Time to uh, get out and do some driving on the back roads of Norway. Backtrack just about 10 minutes back to Foldar uh, to um, take this road because we were supposed to drive a, <laughs> a back road, but uh, there was a sign saying it was a private road, so then we cannot drive there. So, yeah, uh, we are going to a mountaintop as I said, and we it's about one hour drive from here, so uh, yeah, just gonna enjoy the sun which is out, which is fabulous. It was not gonna be this good weather for this trip, so uh, when I saw the forecast, but uh, it's turning out really great. So hopefully we can get on top of that mountain while the sun is out. So that's, uh, that's the goal. One hour and uh, we're gonna be there. I just arrived at the toll road, so we we'll have to pay. Let's see, forty. So toll roads are becoming more and so more regular in Norway. So these small mountain roads or privately owned roads are being kept alive by the owners. So please pay the toll. It's not much, but it helps keeps the roads open.
came off the, the side road, really fun one, uh, so much more enjoyable driving on, on gravel and uh, those roads. A lot more to see, it gets the nature really close on, on, on you and uh, yeah. Now it's just a short part, short uh, section of uh, tarmac and then we are on the mountain road. So uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Sun is still up, so uh, yeah. Great day to be out overlanding in Norway. The mountain we are going on. Yes, it's up over. Now the mountain climb. Hopefully it's open. Uh, if not, I'm gonna be a bit disappointed because it looks awesome. And yeah, the sun is out. started the climb it looks like the road is open so far as well at least and yeah the climb is is pretty steep already so uh, this is gonna be a fun drive so the Range Rover edX uh, V8 is uh, getting pretty warm it's because it's pretty steep so we uh, decided to let him go in front so he can uh, set the tempo so uh, yeah and it's, it's but the, the speed limit here is only 30 so uh, yeah we couldn't be driving any faster either way so we all can smell this uh, V8 from back here everyone is fun following nicely so this, uh, this uh, is going to be an epic drive Welcome to Tron Mountain Road. This was built back in 1959 in only one month. The reason behind the build was that the Norwegian National Broadcasting Service wanted to put up a broadcasting antenna on top of the mountain. There were only two guys working on this road and they worked around the clock. And on the 1st of July 1959 the road stood ready. So thanks to Ottar and Ingvall Jermundshaug, we are able to drive here today. If you talk about perfect conditions to drive a mountain road, I think this is it. Perfect weather, perfect lighting, and we had to stop just to take it all in. 
and also let Eric catch up. We are currently driving in low range, fourth gear low, to uh, save some energy on the gearbox. This, this is really steep. Uh, I think we're gonna pass 1600 meters above sea level. And my second gear isn't the best, so we uh, have a bit more ratio so the low range. And we just did a stop to help cool down the engine a bit because it was touching up on uh, the red on the gauge and also the engine oil was a bit yeah, more than I would like. So the uh, convoy just passed us. So we are capped. I don't think we're catching up but we are continuing anyway. See if we'll see them at the top. We are trying to take it all in, but this mountain is like nothing else we have ever driven on. Next up is the most exciting part of the drive, and it's the climb to the top. As we were setting off, Eric got an issue with the Range Rover Classic, and it wouldn't move. We couldn't figure out what was wrong with it, so we just had to leave it behind. Because the sun was setting, and we are losing daylight.
Welcome to the top of Trun Mountain. The 360 views up here is gonna just blow your mind. We were so lucky with the weather and the clear skies that we could see so far in every direction. It was a bit windy, so it was a bit cold, but that's so worth it when you could get to see these views. <laughs> oh, that would have been good for the film, he fell yeah. over. Due to the cold temperatures and the wind, we are not staying on the top for too long. We also need to get down to Eric's range over Cossack and see if we can fix it before it gets dark. After enjoying the nice views on top, we are heading back down again. And I can't believe how lucky we are as we are driving down from the second highest road in Norway and we are doing so during sunset. This is steep, holy crap this is steep. <laughs> driving down we are putting our gearboxes into low gear and currently running second gear. Keeping the speed nice and slow and saving the brakes. If you don't know, if you brake too much, the brakes heat up and they lose their braking effect. Can you see the Range Rover down there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try and see if we can find the Range Rover down there. Let's see. Uh, Is that it? Yeah. Uh, focus, come on, focus. Uh, it's hard to keep it steady. How's the drive, Eric? It's easy. <laughs> I think this is one of the steepest places we've been so yeah. far. It's crazy steep. 
I will actually say this beats like Songnefjorden, Gerangefjorden, yeah. Trollstegen. Yeah, it's steeper. This is steeper, yeah. It is. The actual drive. Is, yeah. It's not... The edges aren't that high, but the... Yeah, it's, the, it's, the it's not too many turns, so, so the, the roll is, is, is at a quite aggressive angle. I have to admit, this is quite nice. Driving down, low range, second gear, automatic gearbox, crawling way down, no need to look for temperature gauges or brakes or gearbox, obviously. Maybe, maybe. Alive, but does it move? <laughs> 